Tere! Meil on täna põldudel külas Tekkalbi seemnete tootejuht Albertas. Lähme räägime ja vaata, mis on Tekkalbi sortide tugevused ja eripärad. Hi Albertas! Hi Tonu, nice to meet you. How are you? Fine, thank you. So, what is the weather in Lithuania? Uh, actually, I've seen you got a rain at least, I don't know, yesterday or seems like you are much more better now. Yeah, we got lucky. We got rain, some, I don't know, 7-10 millimeters. In Lithuania, we are really in drought conditions. Actually, it's the end of the flowering, so the pot filling. It's really crucial moment to have the good yield now. And uh, yeah, it's really disaster uh, generally. So we are missing really rain and there is not so good uh, yield forecast if we'll have such a conditions like now. Yeah, it, it, I would say it's the same in Estonia because it's already depends on the region who got better or who got the rain and who don't. But about the kalb, what is the strength of the, the kalb varieties? Uh, it's, uh, you know, uh, we, are, we are telling and we are uh, speaking all the time about to see the decal difference, yeah. So, generally speaking about the varieties, uh, like uh, where they are focusing the most now, obviously about the stability, yeah. So, not to have like one year the highest results and next season it's uh, winter killed, you know. So, of course, winter hardiness is a key priority and this is how we are. Uh, looking uh, the best for our region because winter hardiness is crucial. Uh, but uh, what are we focusing the, the most and what is the biggest our difference? So first, of course, is the nitrogen use efficiency. We are living now in the high input environment and fertilizers cost a lot. You know, we have the green deals where there's a lot of restrictions about an ammonium nitrate or, or general fertilization rate. So we are just trying to find out in, by the internal trials the best hybrids uh, for, uh, for the yielding or for the stability in the lower nitrogen in the environment. And we are doing these trials like uh, in five different countries, two, three years, to find out uh, what gives the best in uh, a bit lower nitrogen environment than some other hybrids, you know. So the main idea, like uh, we're having four different rates, like 0, 100, 140 and 180. And we are measuring its uptake in nitrogen by the plant from, from the soil. And uh, of course, on the majority cases, 180 showing the best yield results. But uh, where we are speaking or where we're looking the most is about the profitability. Is it uh, profitable enough? So when we are calculating the profitability and when we got the best results in profitability in 140 kilo environment, so they are putting this trade for the variety like this is nitrogen use efficiency. And this nitrogen use efficiency is not like a genetics, but this is kind of complex of like agronomical solutions and also genetics. And overall today we have like a six hybrids uh, which is nitrogen use efficiency and like top four which is also launched in uh, in, in Estonia like Excited, Exbury, Expose and uh, also Expectation. Uh, so all these hybrids has this nitrogen use efficiency. And in general we are not telling the farmers to use lower rates of nitrogen because we don't know what kind of soil, what kind of pre-crop you have. But uh, we are telling that with these hybrids you will be much more stable in stress, stress, stressful conditions uh, when with hybrids which don't have this nitrogen use efficiency. Okay, well, what about pot shattering? Yeah, the pot shattering, uh, this is where we build it up our marketing and uh, 25 years ago we had already the first hybrids with the pot shattering and uh, the pot shattering comes from the wild radish gene so you are coming crossing the parent lines and from the father line you have having this uh, wild radish gene which is uh, crossed to the, to the new hybrid and this is giving the possibility to keep the seeds in the pots much longer than uh, for the other hybrids which don't have such a, a ability and uh, to test that, we're also doing the trials. They're doing the trials in the uh, south part of uh, Latvia, 
and we are trying to make these trials uh, as long as possible to check our uh, the difference and our strength. So last season we had 25 varieties, uh, 15 was from the deck half and nine were from the competitors. And some of these hybrids has the pot chattering, some of these hybrids uh, doesn't have or partly had and some of the competitor varieties were the OP, open pollinated, which is like a simple naked uh, lines without any traits. And we delayed the harvesting uh, till the end of August. So generally we delayed it after the drilling of, of the all seed drape uh, season time. So it was really late harvesting and uh, so the field average was like 2.86 tons. Uh, the competitor variety average yield was 2.4 tons and the deck hub gave 3.12 tons. So we have more than 700 kilo between the competitor and, and the cup and this is, gives a lot of flexibility for the farmers during the harvesting season. So basically if you are growing like the really sensitive quality crops like winter wheat, barley and triticala, you can easily switch from the, from the all seed drape to these crops, harvest, come back to that, you know. If you're having really heavy rains or, or even some small hails, you can be sure that the decal varieties will keep the, 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 the yield in, into the pots. And also the more thing about like slugs, slug population is also really crucial now. So with less volunteers, you have less food for the slugs and this is kind of preventing the, the, the slug population or we are limiting the slug population. And there's also new trials, what we also declarating from this season. This is not about pot chattering, but this is uh, more common to the verticillium. And uh, the trials were done in UK, uh, two years in a row. And uh, three varieties uh, was uh, put it to the verticillium list as recommended varieties. And we have exposed, expectation and excited which gave much better tolerance to the verticillium versus the, the standards. And, uh, and basically, uh, uh, compared to the standards in these years, uh, they gave more than one ton yield average. So again, some, something extra, nothing close to the genetics, but uh, uh, not, not, nothing from the genetical traits. But uh, this is showing also the strength of the decal as a breeding program, I mean. so. Yeah, we have the overall round, round about like strong uh, portfolio and a uh, lot of different traits. And this is probably the biggest uh, decal difference that we are creating the solution for the farmer in one variety. And we have the, the best what we can find in the market. So for Estonian farmers, what do you think? What is the best varieties? So, you know, the majority of, of the, the area is, of course, the con conventional hybrids. And uh, for the conventional, we have the four main hybrids, uh, which is launched uh, to, to the distributor portfolios. Of course, the biggest one will, and will be found in, in the market, uh, like Expos and Expansion. Uh, expansion is the last season, so we are fully switching to the Expos. Uh, we have uh, Excited. Which is, which is also like uh, the, the biggest hybrid in, in our group in, in, in Europe. And uh, from later segment, we have the earlier segment or more robust in, in autumn regard, we have the expectation, uh, which is also partly tolerance to the versicillium. And uh, as a new hybrid, uh, generally we are launching uh, Exbury. This is more similar to the Excited, uh, if you look on the paper, so it's, it's mid-segment, uh, but again showing really stable yield results and, and uh, yeah, quite promising variety. Of course we have the Clearfield uh, varieties, like, like a new one, the first one with TUAV we have Immortal, so it's Clearfield uh, plus the TUAV, something unique. And uh, in club root segment we also had the Placid, which is also TUAV plus, uh, plus club root uh, resistant. Okay, thank you for the information and it was good having you here. Yeah, thank you. Luckily you had the rain and, and hopefully some extra kilos uh, on, on the yield will be added uh, because yeah, this season uh, the water is really yeah, painful for all of the farmers, I think, in the Baltics. Yeah, I can agree to that. Thank you. Thank you, bye. <laughs>